cool. We're going to learn how to just get started in Ableton and record ourselves and just do some really basic stuff. Maybe add some effects, just have a little fun. So like if you're brand new in Ableton, your set probably looks something like this. I actually dragged a little loop right here. It's like my big cursor, it's gargantuan. I uh, dragged a little loop in here. This is, by the way, it's for Julian. This is for Bruce. You guys are both doing similar stuff um, with Ableton. So, uh, and by the way, Bruce just had me do some how to do MIDI in Ableton. So look for that on my YouTube channel or poke around. You'll find it. Okay, cool. So here's our drum loop. Uh, you could just drag it out of like if you had a, any old beat, even if you just had a song, just drag it into a clip. Or, by the way, if you hit tab or this little guy right here, same difference, that'll put you into a more of like a normal looking, um, so I'm going to hit backspace or delete, Oop, kill that audio. Um, this will put you into more of a normal looking, I don't know if this is going to be, okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, this is kind of how normal recording programs look over here. It's what you're used to with like Pro Tools or Cubase or Nuendo or whatever you're into. I'm going to hit tab again or, or click right here again. And now we're back to, to looking over here. And by the way, their fancy name, they call, uh, the one we're in is called the Session View, which is more like a sequencer, kind of like drum machine-y kind of thing. And this here is the Arrangement View, okay? And, it, and if you, anything you do, you hover right there, you look in the bottom left corner, the Info View. So down there, anything, you're like, what the hell is this? You just put your cursor, you're like, oh, it's a metronome. Oh, it's the quantization menu. Wow. And it'll just tell you down here what, the, what you're doing. So that's really helpful. Um, cool. Okay. Let's go back for a sec. I dragged a little clip in here. This You can record into clips or you can record like more old school, whatever you want to do. But if you, I, like I dragged a drum loop in here and that's really handy. Uh, I'm just going to hit play on it by hitting this little triangle. <laughs> If I want to speed it up, I go to the tempo here. I can drag it up faster. Oh my god, faster, faster. Or slow it down. Whatever. So I'm right here with the tempo. By the way, I'm going to hit stop in the middle here. And you can also just tap your tempo with your cursor. Tap, 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 tap. Right? Now in, in that other video that we just put up a few days or a week ago for Bruce, I taught how to assign these to keys or keyboard keys so you don't have to do it with your mouse. You can actually, you know, just hit stuff, but this will work for now. Okay, awesome. So you got a little loop and let's say you just want to jam to it. Now you right here, oh, by the way, let's turn off this, the the drum loop track is armed. Let's on, disarm it so it won't record now. Um, let's see, my guitar is on track. Let's see. So the mic is track one, as it happens. The guitar is track two, actually. So I might have these switched. So why don't we take this one, and I'll name it. I'm going to um, right-click, rename, and I'll call it, like, GTR guitar. And then I'm going to change this from one. I see I hit the little drop-down menu, and I'm going to go to two. And then I'm going to hit this little red light here to make it armed, and I'm going to hit it see the green light lighting up. I happen to have two assigned to both these. It doesn't really matter what this one's on. Um, if I want to hear that, right now my monitor is off, but if I go to auto, it'll probably be louder in the recording. You can probably hear that louder now. So, so that took care of that. So now I can hear myself. Cool. And uh, by the way, right by default, you get a reverb up here. That's a send, and there's like your little effect down there. And here you get a delay, and that's B is send. So those are these sends here. So if I want to hear a lot of reverb on my guitar, I'll turn it up. Like this will be like cre crazy. <laughs> hear that? I'm gonna turn that back down. It's kind of obnoxious, and I'm gonna do it with the delay and be more obnoxious. <laughs> you can hear that? That's the delay. So you can mess around with those effects. I'll put a little bit of each on there, and that's your effect right there. The delay. You can change the you know the rhythm of it. You could play with it. Boom. <laughs> Now you can't hear it, but let's turn it way up. It sounds ridiculous, but you get the idea. So you can have a little bit of fun with those effects. Okay, we'll just be, we'll try to be tasteful. Okay, cool. 
I'm just gonna play a little something in a clip. So I'm just gonna play the beat. I'm gonna click the little triangle. A little too slow, let's go a little faster. That's okay. that's okay. I'm gonna click my thing. Now I've got this set to one bar. Maybe I'll even do two bars, give myself a fighting chance. It won't start recording right away. It'll wait for two bars. It's like one, here we go. I'm just gonna do two chords, it's kinda boring. I'll do it again. And I'll just manually come over here and click this. hit space bar to stop space bar to start stop cool by the way and i really should have told you this first but what the heck we're gonna go live preferences okay let's get this out of the way now let's go to audio if you're not hearing nothing <laughs> go to your audio we talked about this before but go to your audio input device pick your audio interface you know your personas or your focus right or whatever you got there and that's for the in and the out also okay uh, also for input configuration, if you know if you have a little simple one, you might only have like one and two mono inputs is all you need. But make sure you have that. Um, forty four one is cool. A lot of times you might even do forty eight uh, k. That forty eight thousand that's going to be more for like video quality. But forty four one is CD quality. That's great. Buffer size you might have to play with this a little. The lower the buffer size, the more natural it feels. According to this, I have like about little under eight milliseconds latency that's good that's not really detectable the if i raise my buffer size it'll let me run tons and tons of effects and software but it'll slow things down so i might go to 1024 if i'm mixing if i'm recording i might even see if i can get away with like 64 so you know 128 is kind of a comfort comfort zone for me i can have a lot of effects a lot of tracks it's all good so but you might have to experiment with that if you go too low on your buffer size, you'll get these uh, glitchy sounds. So watch out for that. Um, and every computer is different. If you have a weak PC, you might have to go higher. If you have a, a you know a super fast Mac, you might be able to go lower. Just play with it. Uh, Julie, I think you're working on Macs. You're going to be golden. Uh, cool. Okay, so I just wanted to do that. One other thing. Uh, let's go to Record Warp Launch. File type. I like WAV files. Bit depth, 24. That's nice. That's like DVD quality. Uh, count in typically i say no i don't like to have an exclusive armor solo i would un yellow these i think by default they might be yellow um anything else i think we're cool there so yeah that's uh that's it okay if you can't find your plugins just go to plugins and hit rescan up here if you don't find them if you have some new third party ones whatever all right cool we're back so I made a little lame <laughs> rhythm guitar clip. Let's say I wanted to like play over it. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna duplicate that track. I right clicked it. I'm just gonna go duplicate and there's shortcuts for all this. And maybe the duplicate one I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna hit backspace. I highlighted the clip, gone. And I'm gonna rename it like, oops, try that again. Right click, rename. How about lead guitar? Boom, okay. And maybe I want like my old track a little quieter. That's your volume right there. Maybe the drum a little quieter. Maybe I want some of that crazy effect on this one. So maybe go a little crazy with the effect. And we'll hit, we'll disarm the old rhythm guitar. Arm the lead guitar, oh, I hear it. So that's getting the pickup of my guitar that's plugged in right here, okay? Just for fun, let's see if I can switch. Oh, look at that. So here we are, and I'm just going to click over here under the master and play my little tracks so far. So we should hear a drum loop and a rhythm guitar. And let's say I'm like, you know, that's, this is kind of boring. It's kind of slow. I want to speed it up a little bit. A little bit. It, you won't really notice. There we go. Gives it a little kick. Maybe I'll turn up the rhythm guitar a little bit. There we go. Turn up the master. And i I wish I, I wish the, I want the drum a little quieter, the rhythm a little quieter. Okay, I'm gonna click this. It should come in on the one. Here it comes. There it goes. And 
I'm just jamming. Pretty cool, I'll hit this again. There it goes. Maybe I'm like, eh, bring it down a little bit. Cool, it worked. Now here's the clip I just played. If I want to make myself superhuman, I could right click it. Well first let's select it all. I'm gonna do a um, control A. No? Click in there, then control A. There we go. Right click to quantize settings. Is it hiding back here? There it is. Yep. <laughs> I'll move me. 1 16th that. See that? I'm going to hit OK. See all those little yellow lights? Now, if I'm a little too much off, it might quantize me the wrong way. But there it is. Made all my stuff just a tiny bit tighter. Now I could try it on the rhythm guitar. It may or may not feel natural. Let's try it. So I'm going to select all, uh, control A. Uh, sorry, uh, command A, I should say. Command A, like Apple A. Quantize. And now the rhythm guitar has got a little quantization. Just making it super tight with the beat. So that's kind of a little tri a trick to cheat. It's only going to work if you're playing to a beat, to a tempo. Okay. So that's pretty fun. Now I could do crazy shit. Like I'm gonna play my lead track backwards. I'm gonna hit this reverse button. That turns it up a little. Oh wow. Psychedelic. Weird. And I'll unreverse it. Okay. And then fade it out. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. So there, we just recorded a little something. So now, let's do things a little different. Um, actually, well, there's a lot. Oh, gosh, there's so many ways to do this. That That's working with clips. If you want, you know, let's say, like, I know, Julie, like, you were talking about just, like, recording over some stuff that your friend from your band gave you. Um, let's just pretend that this clip right here, this drum loop, I'm just going to copy it, just like... Uh, Command C, just like what you do to copy paste. I'm gonna come back over here, or tab, get me out of the way. Okay, and let's just pretend that this uh, drum loop track right here. Let's pretend that's your band, actually. So I'm gonna paste it. Command V. If you notice, it's kind of like grayed out looking. I'm gonna hit this little orange button. Back to arrangement button. There, that's what we want. I'm gonna put my cursor right at the top right. Ooh, till it turns like that bracket. I'm going to drag the drum loop out. That's a really good trick. Now, for your friend's song, you'll just drag and drop it in there. And you'll click on it. And actually, see this warp? You want the warp lit for a drum loop. Oh, I lost my little guy. Drag him back out. No, come back. Um, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fight me now. Let's, let's try that again. Here. So, boop, there we go. So... If it's a song, like your friend recorded on their guitar or something, you don't want warp because you don't want it to change tempos if you like play with the tempo. But for this drum beat, I do want it to. So I'm going to have warp on. And loop, again, you're not going to want that for your friend's band or whatever for the song. But for a drum beat, you're going to want it to loop endlessly. So you want loop lit up there. Okay. And then, uh, by the way, the transpose will make it higher or lower pitched if you want to play with that. So I'm going to just solo this track. I'm going to hit play, space bar. Oh, I turned down the master volume, remember? So let's turn it back up. There we go. Turn it back. Now I can play with the transpose. There's your little poor drum loop going louder. Here goes quieter. Or I mean, not louder. Uh, lower and higher. Yeah. Okay, I'm just being silly, but that's kind of fun. You can do a lot with this stuff. Okay, cool. And the space bar to stop. So let's just pretend this was your band and you were going to jam with it. So this is more of a traditional 
style. This is probably what you're going to do to, like, if you're, you know, playing with other people's music. It's a three-minute song. We'll just pretend that's a three-minute song. And here's our rhythm guitar. Now, I have this soloed. I soloed the beat. S for solo. I'm going to unsolo it. And now, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Let's, let's speed this up. Oh, I guess we did speed it up a little. Let's do a little more. Okay. And then I'm going to arm the rhythm guitar track. And this time I'm gonna hit the big record light up here. And whenever I'm ready, I could play something. Now why don't I hear that? Let's figure this out. There it is. So it's just kind of quiet, that's all. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna sound in the recording. It's interesting, I wonder if I automated something. Let's just stop a sec. This'll be good. See this little button right here? Boop, that little weirdy thing. There, that would show any automation curves. Let's just make sure there are none. Here's your master track. We're going to unfold it. Okay. This is the tempo. Let's go to volume. And okay, good. Now, if I had put in a fade out, this is really for later, but I could be like, click here, click here, fade it out or whatever. Um, I was afraid maybe I had that in there, but I didn't. Okay, good. And you can automate literally anything from right here. You could be like, I want it to go faster. I want it to go left, right in the panning, whatever you want to do. All right, anyway, back on track. I'm going to hit this, delete, backspace, gone. And this time I'm just going to, this is more of an old-fashioned recording approach. There, we got our drum. I'm recording on track three. And I'm just going to play something, whatever. We'll go. See the audio coming up on the top? Make sure, by the way, on your uh, device, your uh, focus right or whatever, audio interface make sure it's in the, the green maybe a little yellow but not the red no red And then, um, so here's this little thing I recorded. Uh, maybe I'll, pl I'll click right here and I'll hit play or space play. Here. There it goes. Cool. It worked. Now there's a lot of things I could do. I could just play it organically like that. Maybe I want to loop a little bit of it. So like I could find a big. Let's how about from here? start right here what if I just went like this take four bars see how it's highlighted I just click dragged that and then here I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna go split boom and maybe just for fun I'll change its color so we kind of know what's going on now I'm gonna drag this little whoops this little guy right here boop and you can you know make that wow well, whatever you want okay I'm gonna click it in the middle and um what do they call this thing? The loop start punch in punch out point, whatever. And I'm going to hit space bar and it should just, oh, by the way, I'm going to hit this little loopy button right here. Just we can test it. That's going to make it loop endlessly. And let's see if we got a nice loop. Say I kind of want to mess around. Start over. Oh, it's not bad. So if I wanted, I could, let's just, just for fun, let's duplicate the rhythm guitar track. So right click, duplicate, learn that. I'm going to delete everything here. Just highlight backspace. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to Command C, copy. Maybe I'll put it right here. Command V, paste. Now I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to loop it out so it goes, oh, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. I did it wrong. Let's try that one more time. So backspace. So click on my loop. Oh, I know why. I'll show you why. So I'm going to, one more time, I'm going to paste it. Now, down here, I didn't click loop. So it's warped already, but it's not looped. So click loop. Now, go to the top right, drag it out. Oh, it's still doing that. That is so interesting. I'll get back to you on that. Um, so what it's doing, why are you doing that in the middle of my video? Hold on. Oh, I know why. I think I didn't split both sides of it. So I've got, let's just try this one more time. So I'm going to edit. Um, here, let's highlight that. Edit. Did I, I guess I did split it. Let's try it one more time. So can I, yeah. 
that was an that was a uh, command X. I'm gonna command V, put it back. Control C, click on this, hit backspace to make it go away. Command V. Now, are you gonna loop for me and be a good little loop? I don't know. Try it. No, it's looping the whole thing. That is so interesting. I'll tell you what, I'm a little stumped in the middle of my video, but I don't care. I'm just gonna keep going. So what I'm gonna do, let's hear it. Let's see if I got the uh, right guy. I'm just gonna control C, control V. It's really late and I'm sure I'm doing something stupid, but you'll just have to bear with me. Old, super old school, paste, paste, paste. That's funny, but, and you could like highlight a bunch of these. Command C to copy, command V, paste, okay. Now let's uh, disarm and mute. Track three, the little yellow makes it so you don't hear it. Now we're gonna hear our new rhythm guitar track, which is one little guitar loop. And here's our drum going. And just for fun, let's, oh, here it comes the loop. Perfect, oh, and let's turn off the looping button so it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, now let's add some effects so this thing kind of cuts through. Even more, maybe. That's the same too much. This is the same as the A and B in the other screen right here. I'm not recording. Let's record it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you get the idea. And if I if I wanted to have recorded that, I would just hit the red button because that's armed. And I just same thing. Go back, click right here, hit play, space bar. Maybe I'll go back to my other screen by hitting tab or up here. Let me turn that up a little bit. I'm having a rambunctious guitar player. Okay. We'll also hit space. We're like, oh, that's not too bad. Now, um, Oh, last thing, if you wanted a crazy effect, you could go to uh, audio effects for live. You could also do plugins if you have third party. Um, and let's just say we're like, chorus, maybe it's cool. We'll just what the hell, let's throw it on the lead guitar. It couldn't be any worse. So here it is. Let's solo it to hear what it sounds like all by itself. Whoa, that's weird, dude. Let's make it weirder. I don't know if I like it, but what the hell. And now, here it is. I unsoloed it. <laughs> Let's make it less wet, so it's subtle. There. That's cool. Let's turn this up a little bit. And let's say we're like, cool, we're back here. That works. Ah, <laughs> there's a delay. Now, here we go. Track volume. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to do a little fade out. Uh, I might have to hit this so it, there we go. Now it's responding. I'll just click this down here. So let's drag this little guy from like, how about here to here at the end. And let's just say hypothetically, I mean, you could do anything, man. You could just be like, you know what? I actually want the drums not in for the first little bit. So I'm just gonna go from like here to here. I'm gonna uh, control E to split. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna zero, uh, zero instead of backspace zero deactivate it's still there if I want it back but you know here now I'm gonna start this here and hit play that delays or the that effects kind of killing me so oh there's the drums pretty obnoxious but you get the idea so we're just spin around I'm like yeah I want to keep the drums in the whole time I just hit zero again, it came back. Okay, I'm like, that's my song. Oh, and watch at the end. It's 
it's gonna fade out. See that little curve right there? It's gonna get quieter. And watch this right here. See that? It's fading out. There it is. There it goes. Okay. Let's say that's my masterpiece. I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna hit on this. Boom. Now I'm gonna hit um, file, export, export audio video. Okay. Master track. 40 we actually I did 44 in this case 40 uh, 44 one 48 is often a better choice but whatever wave 24 we can do a triangular dither that's cool you can turn on an mp3 if you want one hit export and you get your finished song you hear those extra effects here let's the cancel you're hearing me talk through all the weird shit so there pardon my language okay sorry YouTube okay boy have we done some good stuff finally you can hit file Save life set as you could give it a name or if you've already saved it just do life set it's not a bad idea to be paranoid and just save like every you know two seconds or whatever whatever but just save once in a while um hopefully that is a lot for you to play with and that'll get you kind of going and having fun and being creative and yeah just have a blast you know just just mess around you can if you ever want to make a new track you can just right click insert audio track boop and give it a new name. That's my percussion track. Right click. Audio track. That's my whatever. My, you know, thing. And just keep going. And if you don't like something, just click on the track. Hit backspace or delete. Gone. You hated your whatever. I, I don't need this MIDI track. Gone. Delete or backspace. Okay. Have a blast. And I will see you soon. And let's see if I can remember how to turn this off. Okay.